This week on First Date with Lauren Compton. I'm Captain save -a over here. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> For the right one. I like a guy that's a little overweight. Right, I'll keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I like where we're headed. I'm so excited to see you tonight. First date. Hello, hello, welcome to another episode of First Date with Lauren Compton. My guest today is the host of the podcast, Stabby's World. He's got a brand new special called Fat Rascal coming out on Netflix on December 5th. Mm -hmm. Please welcome Stavros Halkius. Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to have you on my show. Thank you for having me. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good, yeah. Do you have a girlfriend? I don't. Okay, well, let's hop right into it. Let's get right in there. We need the world wants to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm pretty about open. You. Good. Whatever you want to hear. Okay. Do we need a safe word? No, I don't think so. Just go for it. Uh, it. It'll be a slur. How about when I say a slur, you'll know it's too far. We'll bleep it. It'll just be us. We'll know what I said. Okay. If you had to pick a safe word, it seems like everyone picks the same <laughs> safe word. Uh, okay. I will pick. I'll pick a different one. What would you pick? Um, trunt. Trunt. Yeah, I don't know that it's a word, <laughs> but it feels like something you might say if you're in duress, under duress. Trunt. Trunt. You know, like if, you know, you're too far, um, you know, typical safe word situations, I'm guessing that's rough nipple play, something's too far up your ass, yeah. these kinds of, we're not really talking about psychological stuff, which is what we're kind of discussing here. Right. So I feel like if someone were to really hammer my balls too hard, I would be like, Trunt. You know, okay. it just felt right. Yeah. It just feels right. I agree with so, you. So We're just yelling out cunt. cunt. Uh, well, that's the thing. I didn't want to say cunt. You're, you don't want to make her go away. You still yeah, want yeah, her to yeah. be present. And it, Yeah. The uh, the UNT is a very powerful suffer. Maybe that's why I like it so yeah, much. It's yeah. aggressive. It's really aggressive. So I just feel like, you know, yeah. trying to take some of the power back. Okay. I'm hinting at cunt, but I'm not saying it. You're rhyming. You know, exactly. You're a poet now. I'm putting it in her brain. Yeah. You know? You're like, it could be coming. It could be, yeah. Stop yeah, yeah. hammering my balls. Please, out. yeah. Please let, put your stilettos off my foreskin, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Appetizer question. Yes. What is your death row meal? Ooh, death row meal. Um, I would probably say a, a Korean barbecue spread with all the fixins. You know, we're talking like. A5 Wagyu. Yes. You know, grill. I'd want to grill it myself. Uh huh. You know, I want to enjoy, I want to smell the meat grill for the last time. Yeah, just see it sizzle. Just, I want to see it sizzle. I want to see the, the fat dance on, <laughs> on the coils. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going out. I'm about to meet my maker. So I want some, some short rib. Uh huh. I want uh, maybe a nice dumpling, a seafood pancake. You know, a steamed egg. I don't think that's asking for too much. It's not asking for too much. This oh, is death row. What have I done? Okay, I killed a bunch of kids. You know, like whatever. Yeah. In this, you know, I'd like to think in this situation maybe it was more noble than that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was defending my family and I was railroaded by the criminal justice system. Okay. You know, so I'm actually a good guy. <laughs> you know, and I'm kind of hoping at the last second maybe the governor steps in, saves my life, but I still have this Korean barbecue meal in my belly. Yeah. A little short, a little galbi, or is it kalbi? I want to get my pronunciation right. Are you a big KBBQ queen? I'm not. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but you're. I'm getting hungry while yeah, we yeah, talk yeah. about it. Sure. So maybe that's what I'll have. I think you should try it out. When you go on a fancy date, where do you take a girl to dinner? Fancy date. I like. I like to bring women into my world. So we like to go to like. I like to get them with a nice Greek spot. You know. So it's like I know exactly. I know that menu like the back of my. I don't even need to see a menu at a good Greek restaurant. Really? Yeah, what do you I order? Know, we start with a nice Greek salad, of course. Uh -huh. You know, the classic. Don't even let me see lettuce in there, okay? <laughs> I, if they fucking bring out lettuce, we're leaving immediately. It's tomatoes. It's cucumbers, <laughs> green pepper, red onion, good quality feta. Uh -huh, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. uh, we get a tzatziki, which is... Now, look. The problem is there's some garlic in here. So if we're going to make out afterwards, we're all adults here. We know that's what happens. Yeah. But I just kind of feel like you've been transported to the Mediterranean. You know, this is how we do things. You're not going to avoid the garlic. You're not going to. And there might be, who knows, it could be like a, maybe fights against STDs. Garlics are an antibacterial, a natural antibacterial. If you've got it in your system, you're going down on someone, maybe it fights off whatever they got there. You are reaching. I'm reaching, but it's, you know, 
but it's a possibility. I, 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 none of my cousins have venereal diseases in Greece, and they have never worn a condom. They haven't even glanced at a condom sideways. Are you? So gr- it's possible. <laughs> are you Greek? I am Greek. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, are you Stavros. from Greece? I mean, don't act Come like on. I know that Stavros is let's Greek, let's, okay? Let's get cultured here, Lauren. You you could do that. Look, That's I know more pretty... about diamonds than rhinestones. <laughs> okay. I'm not quite sure. Okay. Names are Greeks and... rhinestones? Is that what you're saying? No, it was are a you, very bad Are you analogy. calling me cheap, I am fake diamonds? Immediately uh, regret saying that. <laughs> 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 mm, it's not going well on my end right now. Well, I'm actually in. I'm actually in the driver's seat now. It feels like you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I'm taking her to a Greek restaurant. We're getting a lamb chop. We're getting a sea, a nice piece of seafood. I'm ordering in Greek, so I kind of have that like you know a little mystique there. So little... you're bilingual. I am bilingual. Do you have any other languages up your pocket? Just Greek. Okay. Just the ones my parents forced me to speak as a baby. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. How is your relationship with your parents? Um, mom, good. Which I think is important. You know, women like to hear that. <laughs> yeah. You know, much better to not like your dad than I can kind of. They probably usually have a. It, let's be honest, if they're on a date with me, they probably don't like their dad. Daddy so, issues. So we have like a we have a clear connection there. Love my mother, adore her. She's the best. I got that. I got Lil V in my back pocket. That's her nickname. Got her in my back Little pocket. Lil V. Yes. I okay. don't want to say. I mean, you could probably find her name, but it's a cute. Yeah. It's a cute name, you know, and. Uh, and yeah, it's good. You know, we we see each other. They're in Baltimore. I'm in New York. I like to pop down. Classic immigrant stuff. You know, I'm the good. <laughs> I'm the good. I'm the firstborn son, providing for the family. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Let's say that you're in a movie theater and okay. the people in front of you are being loud, mm-hmm. and you're on a date. What do you do? Okay, now we're getting into some issues that I have, because I would. Now, how early in the date is it? Does she know me, or am I still pretending to be a better guy than I am? Well, I would hope that you would maintain the same personality <laughs> all, right. all the way throughout. Let's be okay. Is that you would hope that? I mean, <laughs> okay. is that how reality? Because works? you have to show your true colors up front. Because let's say that you don't say anything, and then you come off mm-hmm. as a pussy. I would never say not say anything. The thing is, I would maybe go too hard. I've I've gone too hard in situations. Would you throw before. popcorn? I would tap the guy. I would just tap them politely. Uh-huh. I, I, here's what I do. <clears throat> I have, I do have some anger issues that I am in therapy. I'm getting, they're under control, right? <laughs> but I would, I would, let's be upfront about this. I would give him a nice, a gentleman's tap on the shoulder. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, could you guys keep it? I'd be so overly polite. I would even give off potentially the hint that I am a pussy just to kind of throw him off the scent. Let him, right? Yeah. Like, hey, you know, like really over the top. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. sorry. You. Could you just please keep it down? I'm really, I really want to see Avatar 3, you know, or whatever. Uh, now, if they don't do that or they react poorly, that's when I would really ratchet it up and just, you know, call them a piece of shit. Maybe ruin <laughs> the whole date because, and I'm being disrespected by this man. Yeah, you know, that's kind of the issue. That's what I'm trying to work on. Now, is it an empty movie theater? Maybe we just move. You know, now what kind of girl is she? Does she like that I might verbally? I I don't really. I haven't been in a fight in a while, but I will you know, really yell at a guy. And look, how big is the guy? Could I fuck him up? Because <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of variables I need though. Because if I could easily fuck him up, then I might, like, that guy would maybe take it to the edge. Mm. And then, you know, and then my face would start getting hot and I would profusely apologize. And I'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I fucked up bad. <laughs> and, then, and then I would go to the bathroom. And then I'd come back like nothing ever happened with a box of fucking milk duds. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably what like, I'd do. Like, no, your conversation is way more interesting than the movie. Please yeah, keep yeah. going. No, I would apologize to my date because I've made a scene is what I'm saying. Oh, not the <laughs> yeah, guy. No, not the guy. Okay. No, no, no. The guy, the guy I would all come to blows with. And then I would, and then I would be like... I'm so sorry. Oh, I thought this you were saying if he was too big, you would go. You would. Oh no 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 no! I would have to take it. I would have to because I will talk shit and then look you you fucking. So then you you would take what you I, deserve. I reap what I sow. Reap but, and oh. yeah yeah I would, but I would not allow that kind of behavior for sure. That's it's, fair. And I love the movies. You know, it's a magic. Cinema's magical. Yeah. I don't want that. I don't want that ruined for my lovely date. Do you like sports? I do. What's mm-hmm. your favorite sport? I'm a basketball guy. Okay. I like football also. But yeah, basketball is my favorite sport. Have you ever sat courtside? I have. Oh, it's a feeling. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I've sat courtside at the Knicks. I've, at the Knicks, I've sat courtside at uh, the Liberty. And I'll probably, probably, it's nice. Now, I will say, as a plus-size man, 
courtside seats actually not that comfortable. They're little folding chairs. Yeah, I was gonna say. You know, you were gonna say you were. That's what you were thinking. The only time, so sports, so, <laughs> <Yeah>. so <laughs> basketball has yeah. been fucking ruined for me. Uh oh. Because at least live, because the only time I've ever been, I've only been twice, mm -hmm. and both were courtside, and neither mm -hmm. of them were on a date. I went with a girl. Wow. Like we just went for fun. Wow. And so for fun, maybe NBA player recruiting. Maybe got those titties out, see what's up. You know what I, I like, mean? It was more like the VIP backstage <laughs> access. Uh, the money there guys. Was free food. Okay. Respect. I I like that. That is uh, that free is free food and drinks. That is a nice free food. I'm just saying, if I were a hot girl, I would be trying to fuck an NBA player personally. I don't I'm not into athletes. Really? Yeah. What what's your what are we looking at? What's your type? Do you have one? I like medium ugly guys. Medium ugly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Keep them low. Yeah. You've got all the upper hand in the relationship. They can't go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all about that pussy control. <laughs> yeah. 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 Full you know? pussy control. Yeah. Sure. And okay. um, I like a guy that's a little overweight. Right. I'll keep going. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I like where we're headed. <laughs> I do not. I don't go. How little? Now, how loose is your definition of little? That's that's an important question. <laughs> Let's just say if he doesn't have some anger issues. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to my main Moving course on. question. Let's do it. How do you feel about sharing food or a toothbrush with a significant other? Oh, who cares? Let's get in there. Food. <laughs> An absolute no-brainer. What yeah. are we doing here? That's like, com food is communal. That's the other thing. It's like, let's get a little bit of everything, you know? Like, like back to that, you know, dinner. It's like, I want you to feel like you're out on a date with a sultan. You know what I mean? One of everything for the, nothing's too good for my girl. You know, that kind of vibe. You want to take one little bite and you don't like it. Who cares? You yeah. know, we're having a good time. Toothbrush, I also don't care because if it's a good relationship... We're gonna with toothbrushes the issue. We've eaten each other's asses. Hopefully, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna stop at fucking at some Oral B. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, you know we're all adults here. When was the last time you had a one night stand? <sighs> Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll probably see her again. <laughs> How many serious relationships have you had? <laughs> um, two or three. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking for love? I am. Well, I've been, you know, I'm sure you get a cavalcade of just emotionally stunted comedians on this show. I think you're probably used to this. But I'm looking for love, but my lifestyle right now is not very conducive to, you know, actual, you know, I, I've been touring for two years straight. It's ending. It's ending at, you know, on uh, the specials coming out December 5th, and then I'll be done touring then. So maybe, you know, 2024, maybe it's time to hang up my fat little slut jersey into the rafters, retire mm. it, and find love. But, you know, for now, I'm throwing this little wiener around, <laughs> you know? I'm letting it, I'm airing it out. <laughs> Let's, so, so, yeah. so when you hang up your jersey. Yes. And you start looking for love. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go on dating apps or are you an in-person... I don't know. I would I would assume like everyone I've met like the serious relationships I've had have all been kind of organic. Like I meet somebody, we kind of strike up a some kind of there's some kind of feeling over time and I'd ask them out or whatever. And in fact, both my last relationships, I we were kind of friendly. Mm -hmm. I asked them out. They said no. Let's just be friends and I was like no no, I don't want that. <laughs> And then I'm they, trying to fuck. And then they kind of like, <laughs> you know, it was like, look, we have either. And it was like, no, we can be friends, but we're not going to be like, we're not hanging out. You know, like, I'm not going to be a dick to you, but it's like, what's, what are the odds that we're really going to have a deep, you know, platonic relationship? I'm just going to be up front. They're very small, right? Yeah. And so, and so it was like, I asked somebody, I asked them out, and then they kind of let it marinate for a second, you know? It's, and, and then we ended up dating for, you know, six months, and then the other person we dated for... On again, off again, two to th two or three years. I don't even. It was kind of messy at the beginning. But yeah. yeah, you know, one of those. So yeah, I'm an. Imp I do think, I've met people off the internet. Shout out to the, shout out to the gals in the DMs. We really appreciate you these last couple of years. Oh my God. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but um, I don't know. I guess I'm just open to whatever happens. And even like, 
some of the best casual relationships I've had in the last, the only, the only really good one, the only person I really cared about was just kind of a cold DM. And really? we really got, we really got along really well and I fucked it up obviously. Um, and I regret it to this day, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? That's life, baby. Well, you can look into the camera and give her an apology if you'd like. I'm really, so uh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> if you and that guy break up, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> you and that guy that treated you a lot better than I did ever break up. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Let's say you went online and you got a Hinge profile. Sure. What would your punchline bio be? Like your pick, your... Oh, I don't. I'm not interested in that at all. What do I'm you mean? I'm not going into Hinge. Where would you go? That's just, Raya? I'm just out there, baby. You're just on the internet. I'm on the internet, yeah. I'm Find not, you. I'm not going to lower myself to Hinge. You okay, know? so what? you're not a swiper. I'm not a swiper. What about Tinder? Not really, no. Okay. I'm an, I'm an Instagram. If you want to call what I'm doing dating, I'm an Instagram DM dater. Uh-huh. Twitter. I've met some, I've actually met, I will say I'm a big, I'm a, I'm a very sex positive guy. Big fan of hoes, right? I think those are some of the finest people we have. I'm serious here. I'm not even trying to be. Stavos, that's a red flag. Why is it a red flag? You're sex negative? Is that what you're saying? You're slut shaming no, these I'm women? No, I'm not slut shaming it these women. It sounds like you kind of are. Well, I guess you're not looking for love, but still. Wait, wait, wait. Who says I can't fall in love with a hoe? Now who's so being So now you're trying to turn a hoe into a housewife. I will absolutely. I'm Captain Save a Hoe over here. Are you? <laughs> yeah, for the right one. Okay, well, you yeah. need a cape. First of all, I'm a hoe. That's what I'm saying. You're being a little misogynistic here, Lawrence. I thinking, feel like we need that theme song, Who's a Ho? <laughs> yeah. I think people that are letting it loose, better people. I've They've been nicer. You know what I mean? They're like people that are just, you know, they're just having a good, they're having a good time. Hoes are nicer? I think so. Absolutely. You Are you flabbergasted by this admission? I mean, I feel like I'm pretty nice. You're not, you wouldn't consider yourself a hoe? No. Why? Let's take the let's take the bite. What? I mean, not to be. I don't know. Are you like a serial monogamous? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Boring. It sucks. <laughs> you fucking stink. <laughs> you, you know. That's a red flag. Yeah, you don't want to go have like a fun time and suck somebody off and then give them a nice handshake afterwards. Really fun. You know. I mean, I do, but I but I like to do it with the same person. That's okay, I guess. A teach his own, I suppose. But is you this know, a Greek thing? I don't think it's a Greek thing. I think you're being a little judgy. Am okay? I? Yeah, I think you are. Yeah. So, how would you want me to be? I would just say open your you open your horizons up, uh -huh. you know, to maybe taste the rainbow. Taste the rainbow, get in there. Yeah. It could be yeah, D different experiences. Now, I'm not saying you have to fucking fuck random strangers. Like, yeah, go little flings here and there. That kind oh. You know what I mean? Just kind of like And this builds go on character? Me. I think it does. Okay. Well, I don't know that it builds character. <laughs> But that's a different type of person, uh -huh. right? And I personally jive with them a little better than somebody that's, you know, had nine boyfriends in her life consecutively. Usually, I right. would say. That's just a person. Maybe it's a personal thing. Yeah. I'm a fun time. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm not very, I'm not a good at commitment, but we'll have a great weekend. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what I'm. But see, I'm into more than just a great weekend. There's magic in these little moments, though. Oh, Lord. stop, Rose. There really is. There's really magic in some human connection and seeing different types of breasts. You know, all. But you have the kinds. internet for that. Not the, come on, it's not the same. You want to touch and feel. I want to touch, feel. Hundreds of difference of tits. Yeah. Hundreds of hundreds. Hundreds of, of different, different tits. tits. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not even used to saying that kind right. of a thing. So I you gotta. Stutter. I mean, you gotta. Yeah. You gotta let your hair down a little bit. I think. I think you got to kind of, you're little, just a pinch up But tight. you know what? I can honestly see how you would want to see hundreds of different, hundreds yes, of different, different say, sets yeah. of tits. Hundreds. Different tits. Hundreds of different tits. Thank this you. This is like a fun grammar exercise. <laughs> this isn't even, <laughs> where does the S go? <laughs> I don't want to see hundreds of different dicks. That's fair. Some people do though. You know, look at that, even that face you're making, you know, ugh. <laughs> you know, it's like somebody fed you a lemon. I know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm trying to digest it. I'm trying to pretend like it's not sour. Mm -hmm. You don't have to digest it. You could <laughs> just spit, spit it, it right out. back yeah. out. I don't have to swallow on my no, own show. You Thank don't. you, Stop you Rose. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next dessert main course question. I can't even <laughs> remember which part of this menu I'm in. I'm like talking about a dessert, and I'm like, well, it's not lemon meringue. Um, what is the largest age gap? 
that you would be okay with in a relationship. Now you're a whore, so I'm expecting a <laughs> wide range here. Yeah, I don't know. Who gives a... I mean... <laughs> yeah. Moving on. Next question. Would and both you... <laughs> ways, by the way. Up and down. Just to be sure. Just to be clear. <laughs> I've made out with old ladies before. <laughs> um, uh, huh. <laughs> Would you... This is... I feel like I just yeah. should shut a Please. lot of these questions yeah, and yeah, just yeah. assume no, 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 where come we're on. going. Okay. Would you still would you date someone that lived with their ex? No, that's crazy. Okay, now we that's can open insanity. This back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That like we can agree. That's who the fuck does that? What's the, some they're, people they're do that? I mean, is it like they dated in fucking college like, and they're platonic friend? One's a lesbian now and they're platonic friends. Like I don't. Let's say that they're, like a girl and a guy signed a lease together, mm. right? They got into the relationship and now they have broken up mm -hmm. and they still live together for the time being because they're, okay. they're sharing this lease. Right. But she's like, I'm single. Okay. Well, you would think that that's a short term situation, right? That like she's not going to re-up the lease, right? Maybe it has three months on it, whatever. Right. And if, and if so she just got out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. So we're probably in a pretty early stage mm -hmm. where it's like we're just getting to know each other. Would I now if she was like, you know what, me and fucking me and Mark have a really good thing going. We're going to stay roommates. I'd be like, that's insane. I'm not dating you. <laughs> but if she was like, if she's complaining about it and like clearly she wanted nothing to do with him. Yeah. You know, whatever. Now, would I f sleep totally easy knowing that he's lurking and knowing that I've fucked many of my exes in that messy, you know, yeah. right after breakup period? I wouldn't sleep easy. But it would it would be a case by case basis and you know yeah but if it was like you know they're just like she's gonna do it for a year or something that's that's her plan that's crazy yeah you know um what if they still slept in the same bed together no what the fuck are we talking I about i don't know <laughs> who the fuck are these but people like, let's say it's a one bedroom <laughs> i'm just trying to, i'm trying to get in there Starbucks. that's lunacy okay. anybody who would do that is yeah. out of their mind um how do you feel about open relationships I like that they exist. So I don't. I don't want to be in one, but I will fuck your wife if you ask me to. <laughs> <laughs> That's sort of my take. I've actually been dating women in open relationships. It's pretty sick because it's like you actually are friends with someone. You have a relationship. It doesn't feel one night standy. That's why I'm saying I love hoes because these are some of the most nurturing people I've ever come across in my life. And nurturing, what a yeah, word. <laughs> yeah, in, in more ways than one. And uh, and yeah, I think they're cool. I don't think I could. I think maybe I could do it early on in a relationship, but if it ever got serious, I, I wouldn't. I still have, the way I look at it is that there's a time to fuck around and then I still have some traditional ideas about like, all right, when we're done, let's get married. Let, you know, if you have kids, I don't want to like tell my kid like, all right, you're sleeping over your friend's house because me and mom are going to fuck Aunt Donna. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you don't want, that's a weird, they don't want them. I don't, that's a strange thing. I think yeah. once you get to the next level, I'm a little, call me old fashioned. I'm a little traditional in that sense, but yeah. What if, um, have you ever met someone and you were more interested in their sibling, like their sister, or like a best friend, like you ended up? You've made the wrong choice, you find out. You're you like, go to the oh. first, the first group hang and you're like, I got the dud in the group. Yeah. No, I've been lucky to dodge that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've been lucky to dodge that. I'm trying to think. Not really, no. I've been I've been very, you know. Yeah, how about you? Has that happened to you? Sounds like it has. No. 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 No, I've been lucky in that too. Great. Thankfully. But see, that's what comes with serial monogamy. Right. Right. Closing off your options. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Set, Closed settling door. quick. <laughs> it's not quick. It's not. Okay, it's a it's a prolonged courtship. I so I'm not afraid to be single. Okay, all right. It's not that it's like a fear thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that I tend to be very attracted. When I get really attracted to I someone, see, I, see, I, I see. like immediately find some investment there. Right, right, right. And I see. Then, I mean, what we're talking about is just different psychological issues that we both have yeah. that lead us to different things. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think that's what. So, like, if you were single and you would, you're going on like, if you go on like two dates with someone, you're like, 
I will tell you straight up if like it's not happening. Cool. Which so, is I appreciate. I would appreciate. Yeah. And, and how I'm am not, I doing? I'm not like a ghoster or a blocker. Yeah. That's nice. So if I like go out with someone and I'm not. No, like the vibes into aren't it. There. I'll send a text. I'll be like, "Hey, I really appreciate dinner. Had a really good time right. getting to know you. No, I didn't feel like a lot of chemistry." Okay, so that's interesting. So if somebody, let's say you, if they don't get that text, they is have the, a chance. The probability that you'll end up dating them for like a year plus is pretty high. Is what you're Very saying? Very high. After the even like the first. But date. a lot of people have gotten that <laughs> yeah, text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it. And it's and for a while there, it was copy and paste. Wow. Okay. And I was actually on Hinge. Mm. And my profile kept getting flagged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it fake. was like, they were like, "Oh, you're a catfish." I'm like, "God, yeah. give a girl a chance." Come on, yeah. Let me, let me. Yeah, Hinge is hilarious. Yeah. Were you trying to fuck like a middle manager? I was like, trying to find someone like in real estate. I was like, maybe I'll just find like the average some dude, boring dude. That yeah, some boring, told medium you, medium ugly, ugly kind mm -hmm. of fat, plus size. Ugh. Yep. All day long, dirty. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, okay. that's usually where real estate. Maybe podcasting. What do you Never say? Never podcasting. Okay, just throwing it out there, something to consider. My boyfriend now owns a barbecue restaurant. That's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty sick. That's pretty good. Keep a, that'll keep him a little fat his whole life a little plump yeah. <laughs> yeah it's it's the daddy vibe yeah, you know yeah. what i mean absolutely who are you talking to hey that's my whole thing that's how this is all going when you go to a restaurant do you ever unbuckle your pants if you eat too I much do, I, that's a little too far even for me really yeah. i do that you do that i do that well, that's because your pants you probably have to like be lowered into do you know what i mean you probably have like <laughs> like tight ass leather pants like no one should, you know what I mean? I feel like most of your pants are like that, very form fitting. I have stopped wearing jeans to dinner. Mm. It's crazy how fast you expand right, right, in right. them, and I can't. Yeah, I can't do That's it. It's a big issue. Yeah, that's fun that you're you're kind of like Al Bundy at the dinner table, basically. And I'll do it like some. It depends on how, so that depends on how close we are in a relationship. Right. If it's new, I'll go to the bathroom and undo a notch. Yes. If we've been dating for a second, let it out. I honestly would, that would be a huge, I would feel so, like, I would feel such a sense of closeness if my girlfriend did that in front of me. It's like farting if next she let to each hang. other. Well, it's like farting with no smell. It's kind of the perfect thing. It is thing. silent. You know, That's silent, I'm... you know. How also, do you feel about farting with someone? You know, I'm actually, for as, you know, for as uh, open as I am to many things, I do, I, I'm, I'm going to go traditional on that one as well. Really? I don't let them fly. Mine are brutal too you don't want to be around them yikes <laughs> you know so i'll you know maybe hit the terrace you know what i mean maybe just uh, go out there open the like i need some fresh air and then you just see me like eh. <laughs> <laughs> ah and they come back immediately in beautiful fresh air yeah you can hear it through the glass <laughs> the glass door <laughs> <laughs> so are you a private so when you go to the bathroom do you shut the door oh yeah <sighs> if i'm shitting 100 percent, that's crazy I can't be. That's really. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm I'm coming through real patriarchy on this one. I would have an anxiety attack if it was closed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean you have hilarious like clinging issues. <laughs> like <laughs> we've barely known each other, and I see exactly what's going on here. I like <laughs> to I like to watch. I like yeah. want to be in the bathroom yeah. and brush my teeth while you that's, take a shit. That's insanity. That's one of the like few. Like that's one of the most beautiful moments of solitude a person gets Ugh, in their life. You don't I feel get like. that with me. That's where your you know. That's where you. That's where life really. You get the essence of life. At the end of the day, we're all alone, <laughs> and we all have to get it. You know, we're just like it's. You gotta just survive. <laughs> just the brutal shit. I don't want my girlfriend over there seeing me at my lowest, at my worst, seeing the faces. I'm. It's not even the smells. It's like what it's doing to me. How in pain <laughs> what I'm eating is. What the damage I'm doing to my body never is more clear than when I'm shitting, and I just cannot have a woman I love see me in that state. Well, I need her at the end of the day to respect me as the man of the house. Well, as our first date, I would try to break you. Wow, of that if it were Interesting. me. Interesting. Yeah, I'd try to see how how long it took me to get you to take oh, a shit man. with me in the bathroom. Uh, it would be a really long time. <laughs> 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 You're sticking to these guns. I think so. So is this a deal breaker? I mean, think about your shitting and someone's just like, let me in there. Let me in there. That would be weird, right? If you're like, no, thanks, I'm okay. Yeah. 
if you like if you ask a couple times, it's kind of on you, right? Yeah. You kind of not respecting my boundaries, that kind of oh, thing. Oh, we have boundaries. I think yeah. Again, you really have some stuff to figure oh, out. Oh, I don't like boundaries. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're hot enough to have gotten away with that your whole life, and uh, it's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> You got to well, figure that out. Hopefully my boyfriend doesn't watch this episode. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So we'll move on to my dessert question here. Let's do it. Um, I will give you options. Pick a number between one and five. Uh, three. What is the most romantic date you've ever planned? Oh, wow. Um, damn, I don't want to say the real one because it's too special to me for podcasting. Some things. What do you some mean? Things, like you're things, gonna reuse it? No, 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 no. Like I'm, it's like a nice memory. You know, I don't want to fucking tear up in front of these animals. Oh, you know what please. I mean? No, I can't do it. Sorry, but you know, I've done. <laughs> what if I like promise to let you shit in peace? Um, See, I'm a good negotiator. No, because that's not really good negotiating. That was my starting line. That's not really <laughs> on the table at all. So you're kind of like trying to win something back. I guess and, that's and, a then, and then and then trying boundary. to bulldoze over a second boundary. Yeah. You're trying, you're trying to respect one boundary this by bulldozing is about over another one. Getting what I want. Yes. I see that. Okay. Yeah. So the but most it, it ain't gonna happen though. Fine, then pick a Two. different question. Two. I just did. What's the best birthday gift you have ever given to a significant other? Uh one time. My this was in when I was younger in college. I had a girlfriend. My girlfriend did. Tra she studied abroad in like uh, Austria, and she was she. It was like one of the best experiences she had ever had. So I like drove to like a specialty store and got a bunch of like Austrian like little like a little beer from there, Aww. like a little dessert from there, some like, and then had a little picnic for her with all the stuff she was like missing from from that so i felt pretty good about that that, that was like a real cute, cute sentimental one you yeah know? Mm -hmm. I love so that. i like to do stuff some stuff like that do you consider yourself romantic yeah i think when i'm in when i'm in a relationship i am a pretty uh yeah i'm a pretty i'm a pretty like a uh, sensitive sensitive little guy when it comes down to it you know mm -hmm. at, at my core i think so balance out those anger issues yeah those are go those are going away we got those under control we're fine. I've been therapy. I'm all set. Just don't fucking talk when I'm trying to watch a fucking movie. Don't ruin my n night out with my lady, you fucking piece of shit. That's how I would be and been behind him and be like, okay, well, I already said be quiet, please. So just come on. Keep it down, man. I'm, everyone's trying to have a good time here. That's what it would be like. So we're all just kind of trying to enjoy Killers of the Flower Moon. Scorsese is a master. This might be his last great one. And that's what it would be like. Until, and she's like, can you chill out? I'm like, I'm chill. I am chill. I'm actually really chill. That's It would just kind of really devolve like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get a sense of it. You're already yeah. turning a little red. You've got a hot tomato. You're right. I do. I'm already I'm already pissed off with this fake I know. guy. The, the, <laughs> don't, no one ever talk to Stavros in a movie theater. Um... <laughs> Well, where can people find you? They can find me on Instagram, StavyBaby2, on YouTube, Stav Stav Rosalkis, just my name. And the most important thing is that December 5th, I have a special coming out on Netflix, Fat Rascal. And if you're in New York, my last tour date uh, will be at the Beacon Theater on December 1st. Mm -hmm. So those tickets are, uh, we're almost, we're like over halfway sold out. I've added, it's the third show we've added. It's the last show of this whole tour. It's going to be really fun. I'm very excited. So... It'll be a special one. Come out and see us if you're in New York. All right. Well, I would have a second date with you. I'd love to have you back. I love it. Well, before you leave, I'll point out your red flags really quick. Let's do it. You're a big fan of hoes. <sighs> That's the greenest flag. I mean, I guess if you're a hoe. <laughs> yeah. Um, Girls, don't listen to her. You keep hitting me up. <laughs> you think that my red flag is being monogamous. No, clingy is actually, I've edited it too. But you have boundaries that are like unbreachable. <laughs> Shitting alone? You would say that's kind of like a crazy. Unbreachable. <laughs> well, look, let's, you can chip away at him slowly. Okay, see you... now, now I'm, mm -hmm. okay. We'll give you some, uh, some daylight. It's like a shade of red then. It's like right. a pink It's a rosé flag. Rosé flag. Rose flag. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love that. Yeah. Thank you for coming on of my course. show. Yeah. We'll see you next time. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> First date, baby. Are you really drinking a
glass of milk with dinner. First day.